I'm Anne Simmons in the newsroom of the Los Angeles Times. South Africa has begun to observe 10 days of national mourning to mark the passing of liberation icon Nelson Mandela, who died Thursday at age 95. Tributes have poured in from around the world to honor the man who helped broker a peaceful end to the brutal and racist system of apartheid. Joining me to give an update on the reaction in South Africa is the Times' Johannesburg Bureau Chief, Robin Dixon. Welcome, Robin. Hello, Anne. So, Robin, it's got to be quite a, quite a, a mournful or, or sad atmosphere. But tell us what it's like in South Africa right now. Well, I think the atmosphere has been quite extraordinary. I mean, I, I suppose I was expecting weeping and crying and many tears, but um, outside Nelson Mandela's home and outside his former home in Villa Kasi Street, Soweto, the atmosphere atmosphere is one of celebration of his life. Um, what's notable is the absence of tears and people are dancing, they're ululating, they're coming with flowers and candles and pictures of Nelson Mandela and it's quite an extraordinary atmosphere of celebration. That's incredible. Now, now would you say, Robin, that uh, Mr Mandela has then managed to, to put in place a system where South Africans are indeed today united because of him. Have they managed to fulfill the legacy that Mandela actually wanted? I think at moments like this, something very special comes out in South Africa and the country does manage to pull together and show this great sense of unity. There are some moments when it happens and, that, and it's South Africa at its best. Um, unfortunately, it is not always the case that the races in South Africa are united. But at moments like this, I think we really do see the best side of the country, the side that Mandela dreamed of and the side that I think all, all South Africans really do aspire to. Well, looking back at his career, what would you say was the one major achievement of Mr Mandela? Are South Africans better off today? I think his major achievement was negotiating an end to this this system of apartheid that under which so many people had bitterly suffered for so long and doing that in a in a way that was peaceful many many people had predicted that the country would descend into civil war and yet he managed to usher in a peaceful stable prosperous democracy unfortunately the all the the benefits of that prosperity have not spread around to all South Africans yet. And that, that is the big enduring challenge that the ruling party now has to face. How to create jobs for all those young South Africans who are, remain unemployed. Right, that's a major task. So just to wrap up, Robin, what are the arrangements for Mr Mandela's funeral and burial? Mr Mandela is to be buried on December the 15th. And it will be a state funeral after which he will be flown down to his his birth, his home village of Kunu. Um, but before that, there'll be opportunities for ordinary South Africans to participate. There's to be a mass memorial service on Tuesday at the soccer stadium in, in Soweto. And following that, there will be three days where he will lie in state at the union buildings in Pretoria, the seat of government. And I expect that the queues of people lining up to see him on that final final occasion will be reminding us of the queues in 1994 when South Africans went to black South Africans went to vote for the very first time. Just a, an incredible man, an extraordinary individual. Thank you so much for your insight, Robin. Thank you, Anne. For more on this story and others, please visit latimes.com.